Hello, my name is Eric, and it's journaling time once again. It's a gorgeous summer day today, so I hope everybody's feeling great, and I hope everybody's ready to write down some new words into their journal book. For today's prompt, the idea is consistency. And this is something that probably everybody on some level has to work on or would like to do better on. So just real quick, the idea of being consistent is obviously we try and do this daily or whatever the cycle may be. What I wanna focus on though with this idea of consistency is a few uh, videos ago we did a prompt, what is one bad habit that you could change or you could improve upon? So if you remember that from the other day or you have one, and this could be anything, and you have even a tangible solution, it doesn't have to be concrete, solutions are always kind of being adjusted anyways. What would be the benefit if you were consistent with that solution over a period of time, let's say weeks to months or even greater than that. What would be the benefit of that? And you may be speculating some of this, so let's just use a simple example that might kind of elucidate, elucidate this point. Most people would like to go to the gym or have a better physical uh, care for their body, either going to the gym, eating better, whatever it may be, but let's focus on the gym. So if you went to the gym consistently, Let's say you went, whatever your routine was, let's say, let's say it was five days a week. They actually say six days a week, at least half an hour heart rate gives you like about six, seven, eight years extra on life. Let's just say five days a week for the moment. Now, before we go any further, I wanna make a point that I've noticed in myself and I've noticed kind of in our cultural time, if you will, that, and you see this in sports a lot too, particularly in boxing, and I tend to watch boxing and, and I've seen this trend lately. Um, we're very black and white still. So if we're trying to be consistent of going to the gym and we happen to miss one day, for whatever reasons, even if we just got tired or we just didn't want to do it, we can tend to build up a lot of anxiety in ourselves and it kind of smears all the work up to that point, even if it was just one day. We have to change that. What I want you to think about is what if you were consistent at least 90% 90 of the time? How would the benefits of going to the gym respond? Or how would you feel? How would your body feel? How would you feel about yourself? How might it impact your life? Don't worry about the can'ts or how difficult it may be. We're not talking about that. We're just trying to build a mental idea in your head. What are the benefits of being consistent? The example just now was going to the gym. You might feel better. You might lose some weight. You might gain some muscle. You might get a little more cut. These are all the benefits that one could do. And it may also start sparking new behaviors towards better health and promotion from eating better, eating maybe proper meals on time and start building. So it's a whole momentum. This is what I mean by propensity. This is why we wanna try and move away from kind of the black and white approach. And this isn't just in like health or anything. I see this in academia or even in politics where people are trying to measure the validity of something. And if there's even one auspicious uh, behavior or one thing that happened, it, they discredit everything. Or if there happens to be something that's a benefit and there's one problem in it, they totally negate, negate all the benefits in there. Let me give you another little example here I read today in the book Sabians. When we think about imperialism where the European nations colonized um, a lot of the world over the last few hundred years, <clears throat> we tend to think of that as a negative aspect because there were negative aspects to it. But there was also beneficial aspects that I hadn't thought about until it was brought up in the book. When the European nations went in, to India, like Britain went to India, they were one of the first people to really start investigating the archeological finds from the ancient cultures. They're the ones who broke Sanskrit. They're the, uh, San, I don't know about Sanskrit, hold on. They're the ones, <laughs> I'm sticking in cuneiform, um, in the Middle Eastern areas when people were from European nations were investigating this stuff. So there's benefits, there's always two sides to everything. Now, the propensity of it is what we're talking about. You know, if it's enslave all the people and then yes, you studied history and it's like 99 to point to one, that, that may be a little offset. But most of life isn't like that. And I think when people can start to kind of think in propensities, yes, one might be a little bit more than the other or what's the balance of it? we get a clear picture. And personally, in today's time, these are the kind of viewpoints we need to start weighing. Not everything is black and white. So back to consistency. 
with the gym example. If you went to the gym 90% of the time, how would the benefits of that be? Okay. Even if you miss a few, even if it dropped down 89%, you still want to go because over the long period of time, 90% of doing that, you're going to obtain, you're only losing 10% roughly. But if you have a bad feeling about it because you missed one day and it makes you depressed and anxiety that you don't go to the gym anymore, gym anymore you've negated everything. You've scrapped everything and you've lost it. So don't think that way is what I'm trying to say. And the same thing applies with student success and in life and many things. So whatever your bad habit was from the last video that you found a solution to, or you were just, you know, thinking about, or if you happen to be new to this video, you have a habit that you want to correct. And this could be from something like the gym, or it could be something related to school, getting homework done on time, starting earlier, things like that. What would be the benefit of being consistent at least 90% of the time? How would you, how would your life change? How would that issue change? And the other thing I want to point out is when you are consistent about something, let's say going to gym, or in this case, journaling. Journaling can be like the first block of a foundation that you can build other routines on top of. So if you're consistent about your journaling, then, oh wait, I can do this every day. Maybe after journaling, then I can go do this activity. I go to the gym and you start building it. And that kind of leads me into one book I'd like to share, which is a great book to read if you're trying to change behaviors and build new habits and delete old habits. I'm not promoted by this book at all. I just read it and I'm just saying it because it was a good book. It's called Atomic Habits. I highly recommend that for really anybody. Realistically, probably someone at least in a high school above. Doesn't mean junior high kids can't read it, but they may need some help with mom and dad to help implement these things. And mom and dad, you know, besides just making sure kids are getting things done, Part of the routine is also helping them to build routines, build that infrastructure, build these routines so when they get older, they can have this uh, consistency to run it themselves. And in my personal viewpoint, journaling is one of those pillars that you can start to build other habits on top of. Very similar to how in um, Islamic cultures, where in Islam you have to pray, I think, five times a day. I have family back in Egypt. And then, as my fathers tell me, um, that would become like a routine that you could organize your day around these prayer times. And then it structures your day because you got to make sure you hit these things. Well, the same thing can be done with student success, with your life and things of that nature. So enough talk. Let's get to work here. First things first, please like, share, comment. And if you want, please go to Patreon. And uh, we have a membership there for a dollar only. You get benefits. Highly uh, appreciative. And if you need a new journal book, like you saw in the beginning of this video, please follow links. Always greatly appreciate it. And they're really nice journal books. I'm using one right here too. Um, so today's prompt, what would be the benefits of being consistent in something that you want to fix? What are the benefits of being consistent at something? Let's get to work. Okay. Oops. Fix this. Oops, excuse me. All right, I am home. Um, pretty good is the mood. And today's date is the 8th. And we are at noon approximately. Okay. Okay, so one last time. What would be the benefits of being consistent at anything? Have a good uh, writing session and enjoy the process, everybody.
Okay, everybody. I hope the journaling session went well. And I hope you feel a little better too. One little thing I want to point out about journaling, the prompts are just guidelines. One thing that happens to me a lot of the times, I'll write, I'll be writing and maybe I have my own prompt and I'll answer the question or describe what's going on or what I want to do, yada, 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 yada. Sometimes down the road, the journaling of a prompt or a topic can turn into like you're talking to yourself. Even if you're saying the same things over again, you may have said to your earlier in a journal or maybe in your head, that's okay. They become kind of like almost like a cheerleader or a reminder of what you're going towards. So it's okay to write them down again because you have to keep it fresh, keep it fresh in your mind. So that's another aspect of journaling that we can use. So I hope you were able to gain some little bit of clarity or a little bit of insight to the benefits of being consistent at anything. And maybe that'll give you some motivation to go ahead and be consistent. And if you happen to slip one day, no big deal. Keep moving forward. Keep trying to be consistent. And over time, it will end up becoming a habit or a behavior. Once again, I recommend the book Atomic Habits. It's a great book to help you kind of build new habits, eliminate old habits and things of that nature. And that's it for today. So I hope everybody has a great day and uh, we'll see you next time. And remember, enjoy the process. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.